Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Cowgirls of Nebraska. So, today I'm going to be doing a spring clean out video of our trailer. Oh, it's thundering. Um, because we have a lot of tack that we don't use and it's kind of messy because over the winter I've kind of just thrown things in there because it's cold and stuff. So we're going to clean that out and see if there's anything we don't need. And as you can see, it's a very windy and stormy day. It rained last night and now the dirt road when that we usually ride on is a mud pit. So uh, there's no riding today. Um, anyways, it's thundering, so it's probably not good for the horses to be out in this anyways. Um, but yeah, we are going to be doing a spring clean out video. So I hope you guys enjoy. So here I am cleaning out the back of the trailer where I found a lot of saddlebags and I'm just going to be putting everything in a few different buckets so they're all sorted out and then I will take what I want and what I need and then I'll clean it all and I'll like throw away or sell the rest or give it away, I don't know. Right now, I'm just going to take all these polos. I think those are these wraps. I'm just going to call them wraps because I don't know what they're called. And I'm going to throw them in the bucket. We also have tons of vet wrap. This vet wrap. We're just going to throw it in there too. Trust me, we have a ton of vet wrap. So we can clean it out. And here are the fly masks. We're going to throw those in there too. I'm just going to be using this lead rope right here to um, keep the door open while I clean out this mess. Right now, I'm eating popsicles. But we are going to throw the polo wraps in the washing machine.
have a lot of old brushes that I didn't even know about because this is probably my older sister's brushes and I'm just going to go ahead and clean them all. At uh, first, <clears throat> I'm just going to be taking all the extra hair out that the water probably won't be able to get out. Um, so I'm just like picking that out because these brushes, I don't know how long we've had them, but we've probably had them for a while and that's why they were sitting in the back of the trailer. Um, forgotten about. So, I'm just cleaning these out. It's actually very hard to get the all of the hair out. I don't know why. It's actually a little bit frustrating because, like, it won't come out. So, this is just me cleaning them out super fast. Some of these are, like, already, like, cleaner. Because I did find, I did know about some of these brushes, and that's why I cleaned them. And they ended up getting in the back of the trailer, but their trailer, I think, the back of the trailer has, like, leaks where water can get in. So right now I'm just washing these buckets out because the brushes won't stay clean long if they're in dirty buckets. Um, so yeah, we keep most of our grooming supplies in just, like, buckets or feed buckets that we get from like the store or mine is just in a bucket that I won from a chicken show from a long time ago so I just like put the, all of those in there because it's just kind of easy to just grab it all and take it to the horses and move it around So, yeah, that was bucket number one. This is bucket number two. This is a my bucket uh, with some of my old brushes in it. The other one was actually my sister's because uh, because when she was younger, she, she owned the horses and she, like, rode them and worked with them because Scout is actually her horse. I'm just, like, taking care of him. Here is me cleaning all of the brushes that are like easier to clean that can just be rinsed off in light water. The other brushes that are going to be clean, I'm going to be um, using it with like cleaning it with a sprayer thing so it's like easier. So some of these I couldn't just get rubbed off so I used a little bit of soap to get the dirt off and get it cleaned. And then I just rinsed all of the soap off and made sure it was rinsed so it doesn't, like, irritate the horses if it's on there. So I'm just making sure that it's not. And here is just the last few brushes. This one was actually really hard to clean because it, the spike things were so close to each other. So now I'm just cleaning the hoof picks and stuff in the sink. A, I did make a very big mess cleaning these. But... We can ignore that. So this is the sprayer thing that I'm using to hopefully get all of, like, the dirt and stuff out. Um, and then I scrub, like, the tops of the brushes with the scrub thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And I'm just going to be cleaning all of the brushes like this. Because ho hoping that it will get most of the stuff out so it's clean when I clean the horses with it. And this is everything being set out to dry overnight. It's a lot of stuff. So here's the next day. I'm going to be sorting out the brushes because certain ones go in a certain box. And then I'm going to be taking them to my room since the trailer has a leak in it. And I'll be sorting them out. So this is actually stuff I got earlier. It's like a scrut sponge things to clean the horse and for s stuff to clean the tack and then I actually got another whip because I lost my other one or it broke I don't know and these are c leather shampooing and conditioning I think yeah that's what it's called and here I'm going to be putting my helmet away 
and all of my boots because I have a lot of shoes and the only ones I use are my horse boots. Anyways, I'm just going to be setting the buckets up here so it's easier for me to sort them because I have like a lot of stuff to sort. I'm going to be putting all of the fly masks in this bucket just so it like looks cool and stays together and my bitless bridle and halters go on these nails that I hung up in the corner of my room and this is actually where all the vet wrap is and the wraps are um, because I found this little bucket thing that I'm going to be keeping them in and this is actually where I put my treats when I'm training and I keep that for trail rides to put things in and this is actually a bag that it's like a travel bag so if I like need to take stuff really quickly I'm gonna have like everything I need in it so we're just putting these brushes in and like the sweat scraper and stuff and we're going to be closing that and if I can get it closed we're going to be putting treats on the side so they're like easy to grab and we're going to go and hang that up back where it was hanging up earlier and here is actually, these are all horse magazines, other than the 4-H manual thing, I don't know what it's called, but that's like, not the 4-H schedule, the horse schedule for 4-H. And I'm just going to be <laughs> sticking all of my magazines that I got, and I'm going to be just sticking this bag on top of there because I don't have any buckets, and I'm putting my reins up, my handmade reins up with my other handmade tack, that just hangs there and my whip is just going to be staying in this bucket because I have nowhere else to put it and I don't want to lose it so these are my Lemiex, uh boots that I got for jumping and well brushing boots so they can be used for like anything really and I'm going to be putting my bell boots my ranch dress and bell boots in there so that is all for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!